KTV. The man that you are seeing on screen right now will probably make you think, who is this Conor McGregor wannabe? This individual's name is Maurice Adorf. He is a German mixed martial arts fighter fighting at the lightweight division. However, earlier this year, I had seen his fights and I was very impressed at the fact that how well he was able to mimic and simulate Conor McGregor's style for his own. However, after that day, I didn't really give it any more thought than that. Just a couple of days ago, however, I stumbled upon his fight in which he lost very, very badly. So before anybody gives this man the James Gallagher treatment and always tie Conor McGregor's name with his, I wanted to not kick this man while he is down. Instead, I would like to go ahead and look at his skills and what he was able to do in that octagon. But before we get to that, how really did this man lose in the way that he did? From the opening of the fight, Maurice immediately rushes forward, very reminiscent of Conor McGregor. As Maurice is coming forward and level changing and fainting high and low, you can immediately tell that this man has a great understanding of the range. However, as he was trying to corner his opponent and go after him, one big mistake that he made is just relying a bit too much on his own abilities to just step out of danger. With this, as he was also coming forward, he kept on bouncing and being light on his feet. With Conor McGregor, when Conor is talking his opponents and coming forward, the man is very sturdy on his feet, as if he's a brick wall, as if he's something that is going to be very hard to move around. With Maurice, he just kept on bouncing as he was coming forward as well. By doing this, he not only took away his own head movement, but also his footwork and his ability to just go ahead and then pop back out. Because of this mistake, he ate a very big right hand that dropped him. At that point, luckily for him, it was nothing more than a flash knockdown. He was able to recover fairly quickly. But after that knockdown, you can immediately see it in his eyes. That fire, that killer instinct took a very great hit. It was as if that the fighter that came into this fight really just all of a sudden had major doubts in his potential and his skills. All while his opponent is growing in confidence and is becoming more and more aggressive and strong. Now just before the second knockdown takes place, Maurice has already proven to me that he does not really have the best of head movement. He really only relies on just pulling out of the danger zone and that's about it for his defense. And offensively, he hasn't thrown a single strike, so it did not really look all that bright for Maurice. As the second knockdown took place, the reason why this punch landed was because of the fact that Maurice, he was expecting and really only depending on a straight punch to come at him. Even if his opponent threw a right hook or a round right hand punch, that would have connected. But his opponent was smart. He steps in with a big powerful hook and just catches Maurice on the half step, sending him crashing down and as he was trying to get back up, the opponent caught Maurice with a big high kick. That knocked him out and as the fight was over you could immediately see that in maurice's eyes that this was nothing personal before this match there was obviously competitiveness going into it neither fighter wanting to lose to one another and for maurice's opponents he really did not want to lose to a fighter who was calling himself or was being called the german conor mcgregor essentially now with his last loss out of the way, let's take a closer look at what he was able to do well by emulating and simulating what Conor McGregor does himself inside the octagon. And what are the big differences in my opinion? Let us now take a closer look. Besides the fact that Maurice took heavy inspiration from Conor McGregor's appearance and the way that he enters weigh-ins, enters the ring, dresses up, in the ring, these two are obviously southpaw fighters.
what Maurice has accomplished is in itself fairly impressive. Obviously, he's very much so inspired by a Conor McGregor style. However, from my speculation, I do believe that this man is not a natural southpaw fighter and he obviously does not carry the same punch and the strength in that left hand shot. So for him to utilize Conor McGregor's style, I do believe that he has to at least mimic it all the way. You cannot just appear like it, you have to really be as effective as Conor McGregor is. And if you take a look at Conor McGregor at 145, yeah sure there were many elements of that flashy bouncy style but it really always came down to him standing firmly on his two feet with his opponents backed up against the cage and him teeing off on them. And when it comes to Maurice, he simply does not carry that power, which was very evident in his next fight. Going all three rounds with his opponent, Maurice was able to knock him down twice, but one came with a big, huge, devastating high kick which would have really been a surprise if he wasn't going to be able to knock him down with that. Then he was able to land a clipping right hook as the opponent was dipping down a bit too low, which made him sink down to the mat. Other than that, he was never really establishing ring generalship, he was always moving around and even in his previous fight as we have seen and also in his latest fight, he simply does not have the arsenal and the versatility that is necessary to also fight on the front foot. Like I said, it is very easy to be flashing around when the fight is being inactive but when the pace picks up, you also have to be there. For Maurice's fighting style, I would have to say there is a lot of potential. He's not McGregor, so he has to tune that fighting style to his own. At this point, assuming that he is not a natural southpaw, which would make him a taught southpaw, a trained southpaw, like for example Michael Bisping, he was also a trained southpaw. At this point, I don't believe Maurice should be wasting time trying to revert that. I think he has to make it work for him and keep on evolving because that is the most important part of this fight game. And looking at the knockout defeat that he suffered, immediately when the fight was over, he seemed to be in the right headspace he was not crushed by the defeat and he was just i believe looking to improve from that day forward as he is only 24 years old i will have to believe that he has to really up his activity in the professional fighting scene he's competing in germany so i don't really know how active they are but for now the clock is ticking for improvements if he cannot establish himself within the next three years he will be falling short from his potential so hopefully we won't be seeing that I wish him all the best in the future, he seems to be a fighter with a good understanding of the fighting game. However, in the end, only time will tell what will truly happen. For now, this was my film study and take on Maurice A. Darf's Conor McGregor style. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave in the comment section down below what you think of this man. And as always, I have been Keenan from Keenan KTV, signing off. Later.